What about you up there, crow? Do you want something? Come down. There you go. Oh, and there's a currawong as well down the bottom there. There you go, currawong. What about you, Maggie? Hmm? You want this one, do you? There you go. Little noisy miner. You can have that one. There you go. Good bird. Hungry cookie. You're always hungry, aren't you? There you go. Save some for somebody else. Baby magpies down here. I haven't forgotten you. There you go. quite a while to feed everyone in the morning. I'll cut the video down though. <laughs> you don't have to watch the whole thing. There you go, crow. Oh, careful. There you go, crow. You're still hungry, Cookie. Hmm? Are you still hungry? Come here. <laughs> there you go. All right, that'll do you. I'm gonna go inside and pour some resin. G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now, the last daisy belly I did was this one. Um, didn't work quite the way I was hoping, so I'm gonna add more white this time. And by more white, I mean a, high, a larger amount of resin and more white drops. I've also got more resin in each of my cups and less resin for my push. So I'm going to see if, see what happens with that. If I do more colour and just a little push at the end, hopefully not, you know, push everything out too far. So that's, that's the plan today. And I'm using again the Colour Obsession casting resin. It's really thick. It's a one-to-one -one resin. So I've got the yellow, and the red and the blue. I am using, changed over to the Holbein, cyan, naphthol red and Hansa yellow. Try those this time, see how that goes. All right, so here we go. Do a dirty pour again, some yellow. But yeah, more, more resin in the little cups this time. Haven't put quite as much color in as I used the same amount of like drops of colour, but more resin, just to see if maybe it can not be so sort of muddy and dark, keep it a little bit lighter. Let's see. I don't know, <laughs> we'll just experiment. Equal amounts in each cup. So I'll just do three layers. I have got my mould sitting up on a trivet just to stop it from curing too fast although this resin it does say it can be poured up to five centimeters uh, which is two inches so that's good but it does it, it's actually got a working time I looked it up uh, 45 minutes the working time so it has 45 minutes to kind of move So hopefully it will move. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's just an experiment. And my blue. So the yellow and red makes an orange. The yellow and blue make a green. And then the red and the blue make a purple. Although I didn't really get much purple last time. I got a lot of, got a lot of green really. And the last one, greeny, yellowy colour. So I only put one drop of yellow in here because I haven't got quite as much and I don't want it to be too muddy. All right, here we go. Let's do our 
Oops, there's a hair. Oh gosh, did I get it? No, I didn't. Get out. Oh my gosh, got it. <gasps> Alright, here we go. Pull that. Okay. Look at that. How pretty is that? Rainbow colour. So yeah, a lot more resin this time for our colours. Like I've always only used a little bit of resin for the colours. I just followed what the recipe said from resin courses um, from Micah. And I will link her course down in the description if you want it. And there's also a coupon code. There's lots of different courses. Uh, you can take one, two, three, ten, <laughs> however many you want. So yeah, it depends on which sort of design you like. Okay, let's go with the white. I was actually thinking about whether I should maybe put my resin in some warm water first like to thin it out, but the whole idea of me getting this resin is because it's thicker and I wanted to try thicker resin. So I'm kind of starting from scratch because my other resins that I've been using have been working quite well for me and now I kind of have to start all the way at the beginning with the new resin and try and figure it out because it is so thick. It's actually got a CPS of 2000, which is really quite thick. I think the um, highest one I've used so far for the Daisy Belly has been uh, 1700. Mm, let's resin J Diction's 1800, Ultra Cast is 1600, let's resin Fast Cure is 1700, Estoyo's 1500. So yeah, it's quite, quite thick. All right, here we go. Now I'm just going to kind of dump it in fast. Last time I did it quite slow. <laughs> this time I'm just going to dump it in there. And uh, we'll see what happens, hey? I wasn't going to video it because I thought, oh, I've just done one in these colors. You know, no one's going to want to see it again. But then I thought, well, works it might be it might be an interesting experiment to see you know if using more white more color less push at the end um, you know is, is a good thing so let's do some little colorful sprinkles again so this is my large ice live edge mold. I'll link it for you down below in the description if you're wanting this one. I'm trying to sort of push them out a little bit so they're not quite round. Make it a little bit more kind of natural looking. <laughs> I can see some bubbles coming up. I think that'll do. Just trying to give it a light covering with my with my little stick there. Make sure the mold's covered. Hopefully it is. Very thick. Bubbles are suspended in there. All right, you guys. Let's have a little look at this. Now, I straight off the bat, I can notice that um, I don't have that big hole in the middle. Like normally there's quite a big empty hole where the push has hit the bottom of the mold and moved everything out. I haven't got it this time, so... I don't know whether or not these in here, all that white, will actually turn into petals. I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It might just end up being um, like these weird little, weird little effects in there. Don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll put you on a time lapse. I'm going to go and have my dinner, and uh, hopefully tomorrow. Well, it's late now. Tomorrow we'll uh, unmold and see if uh, my idea has worked. Enjoy the time lapse. Righto. I've just got it out of the curing machine, my food dehydrator. It's still really soft, so hopefully it'll be all right. Um, I'm a bit concerned about this. I don't know what happened there. 
Um, I did torch a little bit on the top and maybe the heat from the torch has just like made the, the white go a bit weird there, but let's get it out and have a little look. It's still, still really soft. I'll have to put it on a piece of plastic. So um, yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm not feeling that confident about it because I can see, look, can you see in there? There's blobs. It's like blobbies. Oh, you know when you're doing a 3D bloom and your white drops and it goes blobby? It looks like that. Anyway, let's have a look. It looks very yellow on this side. Can't see much of that reddish tone there, but orange. Oh my God. I'm putting it off. I know, I'm putting it off. I don't want to see. All right. Are we ready? Let's do this. Please work. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> Look at that. I think this is the best one I've done so far. Wow. Oh, my gosh. We've got bigger petals on the outside. We've got smaller petals there. We've got teensy-winsy little baby petals in here. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Wow. My white might have been a little bit heavy, but um, as you saw with the others, if you remember, um, well, there was that one. <laughs> I didn't have enough white at all, and so I increased, I increased my white. So a couple of things have happened. Because I've increased the white, the white has made my colours much more um, pastel, you know, because I've added a lot of white to them. And the other thing that adding more white has done and more volume of white, I almost doubled the volume of white, it's been able to move better and to close better, whereas when I only used a little bit of white, you know, an ounce or so, it, it just didn't, it, there wasn't enough of it to keep moving I think that's what it is. So this is, yeah, almost double the amount of, of um, resin that I used for my white. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There we go. It's so pretty and pastel-y. Look, we've got yellow, we've got pink, we've got little blues and greens. There's a bit of purple, more yellow, more blue, pinks. Got some sort of very pale yellow in the middle there from that push. It's really pretty. So pretty. Yeah, it looks a bit washed out from when I'm going around those big ring lights. I'll move away from them so that you can sort of see more, more of the real colour. They haven't got much purple. I wish I had a little bit more purple in there. The yellow has kind of taken over, and I didn't think it would, but... Um, Normally the yellow is more of the, the colour that doesn't show up, doesn't come to the party. But it has today, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, can I stop now? Can I quit? <laughs> oh, now that I've done it. <laughs> oh, so happy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And when I said I increased the amount of resin in the cup and also the amount of bloom because I had more resin I had to put more bloom in and I actually added more now this is only because I'm using such a thick resin okay don't do it if you're using a thin resin the white will just fall straight through it's only with this very thick resin so I have come to the conclusion that the type of resin that you're using as in the viscosity of it, whether it's thin, medium, high, like, you know, a thicker, thinner, that will determine the amount of paste that you're going to, to need. So there you go. We've learnt something. Definitely. Thin resins, the white paste will drop straight through. Thick resins, you need to have more white so that it's heavier and it can get through all that thick resin. All right, that's what I've learned today. <laughs> Hope it helps you. All right, 
Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you again real soon for the next video. We'll do some more experimenting. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.